Welcome to Bali. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Doob's Booze Reviews. This is, it's been a while since I've talked about something that's in international spirit. So today we are talking about Captain Morgan's White Rum. <laughs> Okay, so this is Captain Morgan's white rum. This is basically what you get with Captain Morgan's original spiced rum and that they spice and before they spice it, they bottle it and that's what you get. This is five times distilled. It's coming in at 40%. Let's give it a try. Hmm. On the nose, it's got some fruity notes. It's definitely got that classic molasses rum note. If you've tried Captain Morgan's original spice rum, there's that Captain Morgan flavor. That's not the spices, but it's that Captain Morgan rum flavor that you definitely get in this. It's like the ghost of spice. You get like the little hint of vanilla and maybe some clove, but you don't actually get those flavors. It's like very, 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 very subtle. <laughs> like four times removed subtle. Burns about for what you would expect on the nose for Captain Morgan. Oh, yeah, okay. So on the palate, that vanilla and the spices come through a little bit stronger. There's definitely some like demerara sugar. It doesn't quite go as much as molasses. It's more vanilla forward. A little bit of stone fruits, some like clove, cinnamon types of spices in there as well. But again, very subtle, along with maybe some blackberry. There's something a little high note that's almost a little tangy. So I think it's blackberry. Yeah, honestly, for what it is, I think it's pretty good. It's a 40% white rum. It's like on the level of Bacardi and things. I like the flavor profile that comes across though. That kind of vanilla four with a little bit of stone fruit and like a little bit of a berry high end. I like that. I think it's really nice. Definitely using it in a cocktail and things. I think it's a great rum. It burns about what you would expect for a Captain Morgan white rum, but definitely not more. What kind of a cocktail would I use this in? I would definitely use it in some sort of a berry forward mojito. Either a berry for daiquiri, like a strawberry daiquiri or something, or a like blackberry mojito. I think that would be really good. It would bring out more of those berry flavors. That vanilla would slide through and add a little bit more complexity and maybe a touch more body. And then that mint would lighten it up really well. So I think like a blackberry mojito would be a delicious cocktail for this. A good price point, you're gonna find a 750 for like 10 or $11. Here, I think it was a bit more expensive. I think I got this one for 265 or 270, somewhere in there. International spirits here, you're gonna find it for more expensive than you would in the States or where those spirits originate because of the export and the import and all of that, the taxes and stuff, it's gonna be a little bit more expensive. But yeah, if you can find it in the US for around between 10 and $15, I think you're looking at a good deal for this rub. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button, share this video with your friends and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.